Hello, this is Vince Roman from Burn Stainless, and this is our second installment of Vince in Shorts. Last time we spoke about head flanges, and I realized after the video was over that we really only discussed automotive type flanges. Since we've been doing a lot of work with motorcycles of late, particularly Harley Davidson, I thought I would go over that style of flange because it is a little bit different than what we discussed last time. Not that that system can't be used on motorcycles, but this tends to be the more common system that's used on motorcycles. So this is a uh, exhaust pipe from a 2017 Harley Davidson Road Glide, the touring model bike. And what we can see here is the flange design that has been used for years and years and years by Harley Davidson goes back to twin cams, Evo motors, and earlier. But what they've done is that they've taken their uh, exhaust tube, which is inch and three quarter OD in most cases, and they've actually formed this kind of bulbous area at the beginning of the exhaust pipe. The purpose of this is to do two things. One, it gives a kind of a conical shape here that with a conical gasket, allows sealing to occur and also allows a little bit of misalignment in the pipe. Number two, this clip and this flange with a counter bore in it actually fits over this whole getup and is attached to the cylinder head with studs and nuts that are provided. One of the main benefits of this system and really why it's been used for such a long period of time and why really it's worked for a long period of time for Harley-Davidson is because this is a very compliant joint. Even when this is snugged up against the head to do the recommended torque specifications, uh, it allows a movement in the pipe. So as the system is vibrating, it, this dampens the, the vibration reaction here and we, instead of having cracked pipes, we have nice integral pipes that last for a, a long period of time. Particularly in uh, this uh, system here, um, this is a welded together system that Harley does. It's actually got a catalyst <clears throat> in the system here. And as you're putting this on, these pipes have to stretch over the ports and they come in and there's a very good possibility that you're gonna get misalignment. So very good from that standpoint. However, the part that we don't like from a performance aspect is the fact that this shape is disruptive to the flow. Remember from last time that the exhaust is traveling at its uh, highest velocity through anywhere in the exhaust system right here at the port. So how we handle that transition from the port to the pipe is very, very important. And the discontinuities that we have here, you know, as, as the flow comes in, it expands up, it hits a wall, right where this is uh, formed and then contracts back down to the inside diameter of this tube. Well, there's a lot of turbulent flow occurring here and as we uh, discussed, that can actually be a, a performance robber. So uh, that we don't like, but the, from the vibration control standpoint and the alignment standpoint, it's great. But I'll show you what we've done in our systems. This is our Milwaukee 8, our base system, set up for motors that are 117 cubic inch or more, actually some 110, hot 110 cubic inch motors uh, will work with this pipe as well. But um, what we've done it actually is machined from 304 stainless steel, a spigot that actually has the, uh, a nicely machined step that the sir clip can work up against. Again, we use the flange with the countersink in it. And as it uh, forms up over here, we get that vibration uh, benefit from, uh, from the stock system. Now, however, we get a very flat surface here that using a flat gasket gives us a very good seal at the head. Also, we have a very smooth bore on the inside of the pipe, so we get very good flow rate there. So we feel that this is very, very important in order to ensure a very uh, good performing 
exhaust pipe in the system. Uh, this is, like I said, is our base system. It has an inch and seven eighths primary step, stepping to two inch, stepping to two and an eighth inch at the head. Uh, a couple other things while I have the pipe out here is that we use, um, we have both available 18 millimeter uh, bungs for those uh, wideband O2 sensors, as well as provision for the 12 millimeter stock system that comes with the Harley Davidsons. The last thing I'd like to show you is our Milwaukee 8 Plus pipe. This pipe is just a larger pipe. It's two inch, step to two and an eighth, step to two and a quarter. Uh, this pipe is being used by several reputable uh, performance builders, including Rick Ward and Star Racing, and they've been making 180, 190 horsepower with these pipes and quickly approaching 200 horsepower. So uh, the pipe is very capable, again, because of uh, little details such as the spigots that we talked about here, we make a very, very strong pipe. So I hope that this has given you a little bit more information on this type of a flange setup. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call or put a comment down at the bottom of the video and I will be happy to respond to that or have a nice discussion with you on the phone about the system. So anyway, we'll be talking more about our Milwaukee 8 system, but I just wanted to be sure that you are uh, informed about the head flange setup that are typically used on bikes. So again, this is Vince Roman from Burns Stainless in Vincent Shorts. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.